how many times has this happened to you? You're scrolling through TikTok and you stumble upon this amazing ad. You wish you could save it for later, you know, for that moment where you're actually sitting down trying to figure out your own creative strategy. Well, today I'm going to show you a neat little trick so you can save all those inspiration moments for later. And what's more, I'm going to show you how you can go out there and find ads yourself to save them for your own creative inspiration process. I'm talking about creating your own TikTok ad swipe file. Now, I know what you're thinking. What on earth is a swipe file? Think of a swipe file as your own treasure trove of inspiration, marketing examples that you can stash away and simply come back to them anytime you need to for inspo. The swipe file can be your secret weapon for script writing and it's actually a very common practice amongst copywriters, creative directors and marketers, but trust me, anyone can benefit from having a swipe file handy. Now, a swipe file is also super important to help you keep track of what's going on with your competitors, which I know it's usually very, very important, right? It's also a good thing to get insights into what's working in your space and your niche right now. Now, we talked about competitor research before in other videos, as well as spy tools that you can use, but let's quickly recap on the importance of this. Evaluating your competitors' strengths and weaknesses can help you identify opportunities, such as segments of your target audience that may be underserved to get that competitive edge you need. Now, looking at your competitor ads can also help you identify what makes your offer unique. Pretty much this is a game changer for your scripts once you identified it, right? Last but not least, TikTok is a very evolving platform. So this is a very good practice to keep track of all the trends and tricks that are happening right now, especially if you are going to dive into the UGC ads trend. You need to keep up with what's going on TikTok organically. Now, I'm going to share with you a super cool tool that our creative team loves to use for their own creative process. It's called foreplay.co and it's pretty much a great tool to create your own swipe file. You can feel free to surf around for seven days free trial before you decide to subscribe and just give it a go before you decide if this is a good tool for you or not. You can do many things with this app actually. So we're going to focus specifically on one thing today, which is the swipe file feature that allows you to save ads into visual boards, you know, to come back to them, which are super easy to navigate. First things first, you need to of course create an account. Don't forget to download their Chrome extension. Guys, this is super important. Do not skip that step. Okay. Now, once your extension is installed, it looks pretty much like this all you need to do is hit here and you'll be getting direct access to your dashboard as well as all the pages that the foreplay app supports to save ads from now the dashboard looks pretty much like what you're seeing here on my screen right now so before we jump into saving anything at all let's take a quick look at what the dashboard looks like and how you can organize your stuff into your swipe file now let's click swipe file here and you're going to create new as you can see, there's many ways of going about this. I'm gonna show you two features. One is creating folder. The other is creating boards within those folders. Now, to create a folder, you can come up with any category or criteria. This is totally personal. I'm just gonna show you how it works. So let's come up with a folder that you can name after a client, a product category, a space, niche, whatever you like, right? In this case, I'm gonna go with e-commerce ads. You're gonna hit create folder. And that's very simple, right? Now we're gonna do the same process for create board. You can add a name here. Let's go for Amazon. So if you find Amazon ads and you wanna save them into your e-commerce ads folder, you just put it in here and you drag that board into this folder. Very simple. Now, all your folders and boards will show on the left-hand side right here, as you can see, and you can rename them, move them around, reorganize them, feel free to play with this however you want. You can visualize all the boards you've saved into these boards, into these folders and delete them, rename them, just as I said, feel free to serve this and explore whatever serves best to you. Now, to edit them, all you need to do is hit the three dots here. You can edit or delete. Let's go into the boards now. I have a folder here with some boards that I'm gonna show you. So click here. You can see all the boards within the same folder. You can do pretty much the same thing here. Hit the three dots to edit or to share or to move the board into another folder. Super simple. Now you can start saving ads before creating folders. This is totally personal. You can just save ads into your default swipe file and then organize them again, totally up to you. Now, before we start saving ads, I want to show you the discovery section in here is where you'll find pretty much for play's own directory. This reminds me a little bit of Pinterest. It's pretty much a library where you can browse all the ads and stuff that other users have saved. Keep in mind that whatever you save is going to go in here so everybody can see it as well. It's a good starting point if you don't know 
pretty much where to go from here. You want to browse ads that are relevant to other people as well. And they have an embedded search bar here that you can use to, you know, search for specific keywords within all these ads that other users save. There's filters that you can apply. So feel free to play around with that. Hey, really quickly, I just wanted to let you know about our agency's services where we've helped business owners get results like these. Whether you want our team of experts to manage all of your ads or just make video ads for you, or even just teach you how to run ads yourself, you can go down to the description of this video to book a intro call to learn more. Now back to the video. And now, yes, let's create our first folder and board. Let's start saving some ads. Now there's many ways you can go about saving ads using foreplay. The first one is using the for you page on TikTok, which I really like. I think it's super cool that you can save stuff as you're browsing. You can save both organic content and ads. And I strongly suggest saving organic content pretty much because a lot of ads these days are replicating a lot of the trends that you see on user generated content as well. So it's super important to keep up with what's going on. Now the app also has a phone version that I strongly recommend pretty much because it's functional, right? Who browses TikTok on the desktop version? I don't know, just download it. Feel free to play around with it on your phone. I think it's super, super useful to do that. You can save ads from the For You page, as I said, also the following page, your friends page, and you can also use the search bar and uh, type in, you know, creators names, brands, keywords, and save anything on TikTok. If you're browsing the For You page, it's very simple. You'll find a blue bar here that allows you to save the content. So let's say I like this. I'm gonna choose a folder to put it into. Let's go to organic and uh, let's put it in reaction videos and hit save. Once it's saved, it'll go green. Super, super simple, right? Now let's search a creator so I can show you how you can do this with a specific feed. Let's look up Michaela Nogueira, who I love. She's a super cool content creator. Let's scroll through her feed and let's say she's doing an unboxing here. So let's hit play on that one. And again, you will have a blue bar up here or right here, and you can choose where to save this. I'm gonna go into the organic folder and pick the unboxing board that I created and save it here. Again, once it's ready, it'll go green. Super, super simple, very self-explanatory. Now let's dive into the second option that we have, which is using TikTok ads spotlight to save ads. The ads that are featured here are picked by the TikTok team and you can browse by industry. That's the only filter that they offer. So again, I'm gonna continue with the same type of topic, which is beauty and personal care. And in here you'll browse results from top ads for that category. Feel free to scroll and find one that you like. Let's go with this one and hit see analysis. Now a window will pop up with the file for this specific ad. In here, you'll have a lot of useful data that the creative assistant will share with you. Ad performance, video analysis, pretty much helping you out, figure out if this is actually a good idea to save this ad if it's relevant enough to you. You have a breakdown of the script, key highlights, dissecting the ad completely, it's super, super useful. And once you're ready to save it, you just hit save. Again, you can select a folder where you wanna put it or just hit save and organize later. Totally up to you. Now let's go into our third option. And this is the top ads page. In here, you can search using keywords or brands, and there is a lot of filters to play around with. So this is my favorite. These are high performing ads on TikTok that you can pretty much browse. And I'm gonna type in makeup here. And I'm also going to use some of these filters. Let's go for, I selected United States already. I'm going to go with a campaign objective, which is lead generation and product sales. I'm also going to select last 30 days, which is when it was posted. And you can also select ad format, language, whatever you want, right? It's super, super useful to pinpoint that specific ad you're looking for and hit search with our keyword here. That's it. Now we have 14 results for makeup, as you can see. And let's see if one of these is relevant to us. This one. I'm going to hit see analytics. And again, pretty much the same as it happened with the TikTok ad spotlight. You're going to have a file for this specific ad that you can then browse and just hit save underneath the ad once it's selected. Okay, here we have the information on this ad, a little bit of a breakdown, some data that's super important to us. I'm just gonna hit save and put it into my swipe file. Just wait a couple of seconds. 
button will go green. Again, pretty much the same process for every page. There we go. And last but not least, you can also search for ads using the TikTok ads library, which is a new feature. You can select country, ad type, and a specific range of dates. So let's find ads that were published on, let's say June, 2023. You can also select an advertiser name or specific keyword if you want to. So again, I'm gonna use makeup here and I'm gonna hit search. Now, the difference here is that instead of having to open a specific file for each ad, you can save them directly as you're browsing through all the page results. So it's actually, I would say, easy, right? Now, I selected all countries, so as you can see, we'll find different languages. So there's a lot of stuff in here that you can browse through and just hit save to foreplay using the blue bar again. So super, super simple, right? Now, let's take a look at our dashboard and our swipe file to see how it's looking once we started saving some stuff into it. The swipe file section is where you'll find all the ads or content that you've saved all together. If you want to go to a specific folder or board, scroll down to your left-hand side menu and just select a specific folder folder or board that you want to surf around. Now, if you go to the swipe all section, you can use the filters here and select a specific brand, a specific board as well. Any filter here available will help you browse through your saved ads or content. You can also select the type of information you want to visualize, such as brand details, ad copy, headline, call to action, and this information will show up here. You can also sort your saved ads by newest, oldest or longest running. And you can also visualize these as a list, but honestly, I'd rather have the thumbnail version. It's, I think it's a visual board. It, it's more fun to look at and it's easier for me to remember which ad I'm actually looking at, right? So super easy way to browse around. If you forgot, again, to save a specific ad into a specific folder, you can do that very simply by hitting the icon right here and you'll have a file pop up and you can select a board to move this into. So all you need to do is select where you want to put it. So I'm going to go into the beauty and skincare and makeup board. You can also rate this ad based on even either you liking it or its performance whatever you want. This is totally personal again. And you can also tag it if it's, I usually like tagging UGC ads to identify them easy. And then feel free to play around with this and personalize it to your liking. You can also add comments below. And there's also a button to download the ad or you can share it with a colleague if you want to or another team member. Very, very simple. If you want to close this, just hit on the arrow. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Now, remember that a swipe file is meant to be a living document, right? So keep adding to it regularly. Don't be afraid to remove stuff that's no longer relevant or inspiring to you. And keep coming back to this for inspiration. And, you know, you may face approaches that you didn't think of before. So keeping a swipe file and keeping it updated is super, super important for your creative process, specifically for an app such as TikTok, which is constantly changing and there's new things coming up all the time. Now, if you want a little extra help with your creative process, there's a cool feature inside foreplay.co, which is the brief section. Feel free to explore this further. They offer a cool AI tool that allows you to script your own ads using the overall structure of an ad that you save. So this might be a great starting point for your own scripts as well. Now, if you'd like to explore how to create high-performing TikTok ads further, we have a full video for that. So check it out right here. I'll see you in the next one.